So are cybersecurity degrees worthless? Yes and no. Uh, of course, that's the answer, right? Uh, it really depends on your curriculum, what stage of life you're in, and your attitude and, and how you frame a cybersecurity degree. A couple of weeks ago, I stumbled upon a dark reading article talking about cybersecurity hiring. And in this article explicitly, they talk about cybersecurity degrees. So as I enter about a year since my graduation with a cybersecurity degree, I thought I would briefly talk about my thoughts on cybersecurity degrees. Yeah, I know that I've basically completely exhausted this topic on this channel at this point, but I thought I would go ahead and, and just talk about this since this article brings up a good point. So in this article, um, it's a short article on dark reading. I'll leave it in the description below. But basically, they talk about how cybersecurity experience expectations is really, it's unrealistic. And I think a lot of us as entry-level beginners and students know how hard it can be to get into this industry, even though there is such a big skills shortage gap. If we look at some of the top executives in security and technology companies and what they're saying, um, really, they're talking about how degrees aren't required for most cybersecurity jobs. And in fact, it takes, you know, a diverse amount of skill sets to be in cybersecurity. And so people will look for, you know, teachers, retailers, mechanics, people with completely different backgrounds compared to technology. And well, they're very successful in security. And statements like these aren't just being made by random script kiddies like myself. I mean, if you look at here, they're talking about, uh, you know, Tanium, Cardinal Ops executives looking for high level or diverse amounts of talent in security. If you're a student or a prospective student looking into cybersecurity degrees and you're telling professionals who have lots of experience, some of them will probably say that cybersecurity degrees are just a made up fad degree to collect tuition money. And I could absolutely see their point. Others are gonna tell you to major in, you know, some steady degree programs such as computer science, software engineering, computer engineering, um, degrees that have stood maybe the test of time for the last 35, 50 years. And then others will tell you that cybersecurity degrees are the way of the future if you're looking to get into security especially. And all of these opinions, I think, are really true. But the cybersecurity industry, I think, moves pretty quickly. And if you look at academia and the academic institutions, they tend to move a little slower, meaning that curriculums can tend to be outdated. So what I think this article highlights is that regardless of computer science, software engineering, or a cybersecurity degree, it really doesn't matter. You can have a degree in teaching, for example, and still be successful if you wanted to make a career switch into security. And I believe that's because you really have to show a willingness to go and, and learn outside the classroom. There are a lot of people with non-traditional backgrounds who become excellent cybersecurity professionals because they have key traits like a willingness to learn, an analytical hacker mindset when it comes to discovering the unknown, creativity and attention to detail, all very important skills you have to have to be successful in this industry. And that isn't gonna be completely displayed in a cybersecurity degree. If you're a student in computer science or any of the traditional IT backgrounds or cybersecurity, it's very easy to just um, go for the letter grade rather than actually actively learning. And I think what this article highlights is that you can't just rely on a cybersecurity degree or even an entry-level certification for that matter to get in the industry. So for those who are lacking industry experience, which I myself am, um, you know, how do you expect display or show your willingness to learn. Tons of ways that you can do this. Uh, for me personally, I've always evangelized building a website or a blog, um, you know, doing some hands-on projects, networking with different professionals, uh, just you know, generic career advice that you could apply to really any IT career. Uh, that really, I think, is going to help you show a willingness to go outside the classroom. Now, when is a cybersecurity degree or some sort of college degree worth it? Well, I think if you're in the stage of life between 18 and 22, or maybe in your early 20s, I mean, I think that it's important to probably have that college experience. 
Um, because you get to network with your peers and classmates who are similar uh, in that situation, you know, those can build and create lifetime friendships uh, and, and connections. Traditionally, a lot of employers are still going to want to see some sort of college degree on your resume or else they're probably just going to filter it out when it comes to online applications. So getting your foot, you know, whatever in the door, as they say, yeah, I mean, I, I can see how you have to basically pay, let's say $30,000 for a slip of paper. It's truly unfortunate uh, that we're in that kind of stage. I always evangelize this. If you're going to get into degree program, you want to get into cybersecurity, whether that's computer science or cybersecurity degree, I really recommend you do it for cheap. You learn outside the classroom and you get involved in your local clubs uh, if they have one. So this short article, I think, has highlighted the fact that leading edge tech companies and, and companies in general have to look for talent that's not just in the confines of a degree. And that can help you if you're somebody who is trying to get into this industry without going the traditional college route. Do I think cybersecurity degrees are worth it? Yes and no. If you're in that stage of life between, you know, 18, 22, young 20s, yeah, I think that it could be worth it just to have something to rely on for the rest of your life. If you're somebody who is making a career switch from the medical industry or teaching and you already have a degree of some sorts, I don't think you really need to go and get a four-year university degree. I think that you can rely on some other uh, ways to show your willingness to go outside the classroom and learn. So yeah, I know this video, it's broad, generic, and me rambling, and basically gives you no answer, but hopefully this has given you some things to think about when it comes to cybersecurity degrees 